I am so excited to share this awesome video with you. Today is the first day that I've ever, ever, I've never ever done this before. Today I'm going to dye my hair. Oh, so exciting. But the thing is, I'm only going to use this natural dye. So the reason why I've never actually dyed my hair before is because a few reasons. One, because I didn't want to kill my hair and make it all dry and dead at the bottom by using bleaches and other dyes that have chemicals in them that can actually burn and damage your hair. And two, because they're chemical filled, using these dyes and things are really harmful on your body. Excuse me one second, I'm just going to close the laundry door. It's a bit loud. So I didn't want to put these dyes into my hair because ultimately my skin is like a sponge. It's going to absorb it and those chemicals will end up in my body. And I didn't want that at all. So when I found these awesome natural dyes that you can make at home that work just as well, I was so excited to test them out. I actually learnt this turmeric hair dye off the Plastic Free Mermaid, which I've talked about her in one of my previous videos. She's awesome. You should check her out on Instagram. She's amazing. She actually shows how she dyed her hair blonde using turmeric. It's so cool. So that's the first time I heard about it. So I researched further and found a cool way you can make your own turmeric dye at home to dye your hair golden blonde so I'm going to test that out today there are a few other natural ingredients you can use to dye your hair different colors like brunette black and even red which I'm going to test out later on in the future so stay tuned for future videos of mine where I dye my hair different colors to experiment on those different hair dyes so yeah without further ado let's get started on making this hair dye and seeing how it goes on my lovely brown hair so to make this blonde hair turmeric dye today you're going to need obviously two tablespoons of ground turmeric now if you don't have ground turmeric but you have fresh turmeric you just need a quarter of a cup of fresh turmeric and then the second ingredient you're going to use is boiling water so you're going to heat a saucepan up with some water, boil it, and when it's boiling, you're gonna add in the turmeric. Then you're gonna stir that through until all the turmeric has dissolved. Then you're gonna turn off the stove and just allow, allow the saucepan to cool with the turmeric mixture inside. So you want it to cool completely before you actually use it. Then you can either pour this mixture once it's cooled into a hair dye squeezing bottle. If you have one, they can come with hair dyeing kits in the past that you may have used. So you can use that. Or even just a clean condiment squeezing bottle. So like a tomato sauce squeezing bottle if you want. But I'm just going to pour the mixture into a bowl and then just dye the ends of my hair into it because I forgot to mention before I'm doing a balayage kind of style so just using the bottom part of my hair just in case it doesn't go as planned that way I can just tie it up and it won't matter and I also love the balayage look it looks so pretty so I'm going to do that today so I'm just going to put my bot the bottoms of my hair into the bowl and just leave it there for 15 minutes so once you're ready to dye your hair you're going to put a towel around your neck a towel that you preferably won't mind that will get stained because the reason why turmeric works so well is because it has this ingredient curcumin 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 that's the way curcumin which i'll write down here so you can see that ingredient actually helps to like is a, is a staining ingredient sort of thing that's what makes turmeric so good at dyeing your hair because that ingredient stains your hair basically and turns it blonde another bonus is it also helps prevent dandruff and hair loss so it's like a win-win now keep in mind that because it does stain your hair so well it stains almost everything else really well too so your hands may get stained as well but don't worry about it they will the yellow color will wash off eventually if you are concerned you can use gloves but i recommend using either rubber gloves or something that can be reused rather than using plastic gloves where you throw away and they go to landfill just because it's wasteful so rather than doing that use something that you can reuse i don't mind about my hands getting stained yellow i'm just going to use my own hands today so i won't worry about using gloves so if you were to dye your whole head with the turmeric dye today you would start by you'd flip your hair over and then at the back you'd pour the solution onto the roots of your hair and massage that in really well and you keep adding the solution to your hair until all of it was covered then you would comb it through your hair so it gets all nice and saturated by the dye and then you just allow the dye to sit on your hair for 15 minutes make sure it's only 15 minutes if you leave it on longer it makes your hair really yellow not a nice blonde yellow like a really stark yellow so you only want to leave it on for 15 minutes so to wash it out what you're going to do is just wash it with some water until the color like the water runs clear then you just wash dry and style it as usual and you're done you have blonde hair so as i said i'm just going to do the ends of my hair today so i'm going to demonstrate how i do that but if you guys are interested and you want to do your full hair that is how you would go about it now if you are new to dyeing your hair or you haven't done this before and you are a bit nervous about it it can be a good idea to just do a small tester on a little bit of your hair just to see how it goes so you do the whole process on just that little bit of hair so if it doesn't look too good you know all right i won't do it again and it hasn't 
been done on your whole head. So that can be a great tip if you are unsure about how it will look on you. Another alternative to doing this hair dye is just to put two tablespoons of turmeric into your shampoo bottle and this will cause a gradual hair color change over time. So it won't be as strong at the, at the start. It will happen over time when you wash your hair. Or you can just combine turmeric with some chamomile tea to make a paste as chamomile tea is a natural hair lightener. So when you make this paste you just apply it onto your hair and leave it on for a couple of hours and then wash it off and you'll have similar results. So I'm going to get started on dyeing my hair, the balayage look, right now. So you guys can come along and watch how it goes. Fingers crossed it goes well. So I'm going to start off by boiling the saucepan with water. And then I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of turmeric and make sure that dis is dissolved through the it cool. And I'll be back with you. Okay, so it has been a while, I'm not sure how long, but it's finally cooled down so that I've just poured the mixture into this bowl just here. I don't want to put too much because it's probably going to end up on the floor. So it's cooled down enough, so I'm going to now dip my hair into it and just leave it like, like that for 15 minutes or so. Then I'm going to wash it, dry it, and it's ready to go. So I shall see you guys after 15 minutes, hopefully, fingers crossed, with nice blonde hair. So this is the finished product with my hair. It looks so, so pretty. Ah, I'm so happy with it. It's not as strong as it would be on someone who is, say, lighter haired. So if you had light brown or if you had blonde hair, I was just trying to think what was the other light color. So if you have really light hair, it shows up a lot more. So I'm going to continue doing this over the next few days. I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram if you want to check it out. I will share my Insta name down below and I'll make sure to keep it in one of the highlights on my bio page. But yeah, I'm going to keep going over a few more days just to help lighten it up a little bit more. Each time you do it, it gets a little bit lighter. But as my hair is so dark, it still did really well shining through. This is a, such a great alternative if you guys want to try it out yourself. Let me know what you thought of this video down below. Please share some love with me down in the comments. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up for me and if you want to see more videos of mine in the future, you know just to subscribe down below in the corner and make sure to hit that bell button right next to it to keep up to date with future videos of mine. If you guys have tried dyeing your hair before, please share with me how it went for you. I'd love to know what the hair colour you had, what hair colour you dyed it to, what you use. That'd be so cool. And I'd love to hear tips and tricks that you guys found helped when you dyed your hair so I can try it in future when I do mine again. Today's comment of the day goes to Food Capture. Thank you so much for leaving such a beautiful comment and for watching my video on the pink clay face mask that I did. Thank you so much. It was so beautiful. Thank you for the tips that you shared. Oh, it was just awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and hope to see you in future videos of mine. That's all, folks. 
See ya.